in the last video I did, we wired a common collector or emitter follower demonstration circuit with an NPN 2N3904 transistor. In this video, we're going to wire the same circuit, but this time we're going to use a PNP transistor. So this is the 2N3906. It has basically the same characteristics as the 2N3904, except for the polarities are reversed. So we're going to be dealing with negative voltages in this video. That's one way you could look at it. You could still look at this as ground and that being more positive, but instead we're going to look at down here being the negative voltage and the ground, the zero volt reference point up here. So the ground in this case is going to be the positive rail. Sometimes you have a positive voltage and a negative voltage and a ground and it's all relative. So we're going to look at it as a negative voltage going over here and this is also the direction of electron flow. So in any case we have the uh, transistor right here flat side is facing away from us right now the emitter is at the top and it's at the top of the board up here and then base in the middle and then the collector down at the bottom and the collector goes directly to the negative rail the base we have this resistor here to this trim pot that's going to be our voltage in we're going to be able to adjust the voltage in Right now it's more towards positive, and I'll turn the power supply on, and uh, the LED is still off. Now, we have this resistor here from the emitter to the positive rail. Remember ground in this case is the positive rail for uh, this video, for this purposes. And then voltage out here, this is where the voltage we're going to be concerned about is at this point at the emitter but at this point I also have a load coming here so we'll look at the voltage across the load as the voltage out so we have a protective resistor here comes to this LED and uh, this LED now on the other end comes to the positive rail so the long lead of the LED is towards the positive rail short lead of the LED is towards the resistor because that heads towards the more negative side of the uh, circuit there. So this LED is forward biased. It's set to conduct easily. So now if you watched the last video when we had the opposite transistor, the uh, NPN type transistor instead of PNP, you'd remember that the LED was off when we were more towards negative. We got halfway towards positive and then the LED came on. And when we're all the way to positive, the LED got as bright as it was going to get in this circuit. So now we're towards the positive rail and the LED is off. So that's the opposite. And we'll take this little screwdriver. Now we're going to turn it about halfway. Now you see the LED starts coming on. You can see the arrows about halfway there. It's pointing towards that middle dot. And of course, if we turn it all the way, towards the negative rail here the LED is the brightest so we can consider this this is a 5 volt power supply about uh, negative 5 volts at the rail here coming here we're going to get a little voltage drop to the base we'll take a measurement of that but we'll end up with a negative voltage so the more negative voltage we have at the output here and this is a high value resistor this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor and this is a 220 ohm resistor so very little current coming here not enough current to light the LED bright enough but it uh, allows the voltage that we allow to get to the base of the transistor allows the voltage to make it to the LED with extra current provided by the transistor so now we got the multimeter ready we're gonna take some uh, voltage measurement so we'll set the meter for voltage and now remember in this circuit the ground is going to be the positive rail that's just for this video normally 
you have the ground as the negative rail. If you notice the black probe here, the black probe comes to calm. It doesn't go to negative and red positive or anything. It goes to calm and red goes to voltages. Calm is basically the same as uh, saying ground. And so when we take our measurements for this circuit, since we're dealing with negative voltages, the ground is going to be on the positive side. And so we'll just attach the probe there. And so first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at the voltage making it to the base. So I already set the the uh, trim pot here so that it will all put a voltage here a little bit higher than what it takes to get this LED to start conducting. It takes about about a volt, 1.8 volts I should say for it to conduct. Actually it's a negative voltage now because we're starting towards negative towards positive so it takes about a negative 1.8 volts and the base of the transistor now is going to take about uh, 0.7 volts about in that range so somewhere around about two and a half volts it's gonna take before we get the LED to start conducting and I said it about in that range but here's the voltage at the base of the transistor about 2.7 volts now as I said we lost about a negative 0.7 volts from the base to the emitter so at this point we should have close to 2 volts now. We had about negative 2 to uh, 0.7 at the base. So up here we should have about negative 2 volts. And so we'll put the probe there and check uh, the emitter. And there you can see as I said it's about negative 2 volts. And so ultimately the transistor it allows the voltage to go from collector to emitter here based on the voltage that's at the base but as I said you lose about 0.7 of those volts in this case negative 0.7 volts because it takes that much before that conducts and so ultimately you'll get the base voltage minus about 0.7 in this case negative 0.7 so now I'm really going to end the video there. I'm just going to explain a few things. The uh, whole point of this circuit is that you want to be able to set an output voltage and by doing that in this circuit you have an input voltage coming to the base of the transistor there. We have a high value resistor here. That really limits the current. So even though the voltages are about the same we have the voltage minus the uh, voltage drop of the uh, base to emitter so it's slightly off but it's basically about the same the voltage out the voltage in but as you can see I got a 10 kilo ohm resistor here that really reduces the current and so in this case the transistor allows a lot more current to flow through so we're just limiting the voltage the transistor lets you know pretty much the full current of the voltage source to uh, the power source to go through. That's why we also need a protective resistor to protect the LED. We don't need to protect it from this current at all. This is very low current. All this is setting though is a voltage. We're still able to set a voltage at this point and that will allow that voltage to go through the transistor and all the current that will go with that voltage from the power source basically unhindered. That's why we need the uh, actually over here the protective resistor to protect an LED from current so it's a it imitates the voltage but also allows more current usually you use this when the voltage source of the signal isn't strong enough to power something but it is giving you a voltage that you like for some reason and as I said this is a PNP transistor used in this video. Last video was NPN because in this video we dealt with negative voltages. PNP are generally used with negative voltages. Of course in basic electronics negative voltages aren't used a lot. That's why you don't really learn the PNP transistor too much. You really learn the NPN transistor uh, in beginning electronics because you're mostly dealing with positive voltages going to from a let's say 5 volts down to 0 volts 
which is ground. That's more common and that's why you're normally using the NPN transistor whereas PNP transistors work better if you're starting at a negative voltage, negative 5 volts going to 0 volts.